Yeah, we got Trevor's story here for you. We'll go ahead and start with Patrick. Hi, Trevor. Uh, just off the bat, I wanted to ask you about the final out of the game. Uh, just take us through your mindset um, when you tried to steal second. Uh, they obviously made a really good throw on a bang bang play. Just trying to jumpstart your team and get yourself in scoring position, I assume. Yeah. Um, you know, we, uh, I felt like I had a good jump. You know, uh, felt like I was running well. And, you know, going back and looking at the tape, you know, they just kind of made a perfect play. And, um, you know, Diaz is, uh, you know, top of bat. So uh, trying to get in the score position for Chuck to where, you know, it wouldn't take extra bases. And, um, you know, I'd do it again for sure. But across to them, I think, you know, McCann made a perfect throw. And uh, Lindor made a nice tag, too. I'll talk one other before I forget. Uh, Stroman was terrific today, obviously. Uh, he made that behind the back grab and then the funky rolling throw to first base. Uh, so two part question, you ever seen a throw from a pitcher to first like that? And the second part of the question looked to me like he was pointing to his the gold on his glove and he almost looked like he was pimping you guys on the bench. Did you see it that way at all? Uh, to be honest, no, I didn't see it that way. Um, you know, he's a, he's a passionate player, man. He, he plays with a lot of emotion, and you know, I think that's okay. But, uh, yeah, you know, to me personally, I, I didn't see it that way. Just, you know, a really good play by him. I've never seen a pitcher do that. Um, you know, I've seen position players do something of that sort. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's very athletic out there, and I was an athletic. And one more for me, Trevor. Um, do you think it'd be it's good for this you guys to get a day off tomorrow? Just take a breather, maybe even not think about baseball for for a day or so. I mean, sometimes that can be, you know, an energizer. I don't know what you think. Your your opinion on that? Yeah, I think um, you know we've had obviously a tough go of it late um, lately, but. You know, we, we've been in some really close games and, you know, games that we thought we, you know, could have won, that we were right there. And it wasn't frustrating for sure. But, um, yeah, you know, I think this off day is coming at a good time. I know guys are, uh, you know, I, I, I've said it before, but, it, you know, it feels like we're going to win. And then, you know, just, just one or two things don't go our way. And, um, yeah, so it'll be nice to have tomorrow off. And, everybody rest physically and mentally and um, come back recharge. Thanks. Appreciate it. Go ahead, Thomas. Yeah, Trevor, just to kind of follow up on Patrick, and I missed the beginning of that, but if you're going to lose a game, isn't it better you lose it kind of going down fighting, running, trying to make something happen than just standing there waiting? Yeah, you know, I think it depends on the situation for sure. Um, we like that situation and, you know, I came up and I felt, you know, I executed it pretty good, but they did it just a little better and always, you know, hurts for me. I think um, knowing that, you know, Chuck is up and he has a chance to win the game or tie the game. And so that doesn't sit well with me, but, um, you know, he's, Chuck, Chuck understands the game and he, you know, he reiter reiterated that to me that, um, you know, that was probably the right play, but, you know, for me, it's tough, man, because uh, I know Chuck is, is a special hitter, and I know that um, he could have uh, he could have done something special, but like I said, we, we like the situation. Um, when you slid in, did you think you were safe at first, or did you think you were out, and what did you say to Lindor after the play? Yeah, I knew it was very bang bang, um, honestly, you know, I, uh, I felt the tag, and you know, it was almost simultaneous. It was he got me by, you know, a split second. But um, of course, you know, you get up saying you're safe just because it was it was that close. But um, yeah, you know, I've talked to Lenore a lot over the off season, and um, so you know, just just pleasantries between friends. That's it, man. And uh, how about Antonio today? I know that. Um, uh, ended up pitching six strong innings for you guys after the last start. What are you seeing out of him? What What is the growth you're seeing out of Antonio? 
It's been great, man. He's, you know, the rest of the pitcher, he works fast. Love, love playing behind that. And, um, you know, he has that, he has that attitude about him when he's going to attack. And I think that's, that's really what it takes, especially pitching here. And he's done a great job with that. Just to see him grow over the past couple of years, it's been, it's been pretty cool, man. And, um, He's a good pitcher, man. I, I love playing behind him. He, he brings that kind of that swagger too. So um, it's been fun. Thanks, Trevor. All right, we'll go to Ed for our last couple of questions. Go ahead, Ed. Trevor, I know this is a question we've uh, we've addressed before, but I wanted to ask you again. You know, with the current situation, the lineup is constructed. You've got several guys that are under 200 that are in the lineup every day. Obviously, the offense doesn't have a whole lot of punch right now. If you were going to diagnose the issue in, in terms of not just one or two players, but overall, what would you say the issue is? Um, you know, I think it's it's so personal. Each guy has different, you know, approaches and different strengths. Um, you know, I think just overall as an offense, I think we could do better just stacking at bats, good at bats on top of each other. You know, it seems like we'll do it for an inning or, you know, two, maybe a game. And those other ones are just kind of, uh, you know, I wouldn't say lost, but, you know, we're not stacking on top of each other like like good offenses do. And, um, I know we have it in us because we, we've shown it this year, but um, just the consistency of, of that is uh, what I think is missing. And, you know, once, once those things start rolling, then you kind of wear down pitchers and um, make them pay in the end. 